what is my relationship with the outdoors? Um, well, see, I mean, I, I grew up camping. It was something that our family did together. And so there's a lot of memories that just kind of get rooted in that. Yeah, so I've always been a big uh, outdoorsman, you know, hiking, camping, fishing, hunting. You know, it's like the sanctuary, you know, it's when I get really stressed and life is overwhelming, you can just go outside. Getting that fresh air and that wind in your face and um, just the, the stress release of, of experiencing nature, it's beauty and the birds, um, it's visceral. I, I can feel my stress drop when I'm in nature. I love being outdoors. I don't get the opportunity to do it as much as I'd like to. We're supposed to be the outdoor capital of the world pretty much in the Pacific Northwest. And when you're in a wheelchair, it's, it's not, it's not. The injury made things just more difficult. My wife complains sometimes because she, she's like, ah, I have to do everything. I have to set up the tent. I'm your Sherpa, <laughs> you know. I mean, there's a lot more planning. You know, you can't, like, I can't wake up in the morning and just be like, hey, I'm just going to go camping. For me, I would just have to say I need power for my power chair. So it's like a big one. And then hard pack ground. Someone like me, they don't really access the outdoors as much. So there's a lot of things that I have to learn and that I haven't learned yet. And then, you know, there's a additional equipment and stuff like that. My experience of the outdoors after uh, my spinal cord injury has just been one of, I don't, I think honestly kind of disappointment. I used to be an avid uh, hiker, backcountry hiker with uh, some college buddies and it's been five years since my spinal cord injury and I haven't been able to join them. I think a lot of people crave it. They just, they write it off as that's something they can't do and it's really sad. I think the barriers that a lot of people experience in accessing the outdoors are really just kind of the way society views it and they're kind of told that they can't access it and the fact they don't see other people out there doing it, it's like, it's this perception that they're not capable anymore just because they have a physical difference, disability. I miss being able to, to be out outdoors and have that experience. So I'm um, coordinating with uh, the Oregon State Parks Department and. Uh, Adventures Without Limits. Um, this this event is uh, kind of has a short-term impact, uh, helping in, helping people get out outdoors. Uh, I came out to, I mean, obviously do some kayaking, some camping, sort of meet like-minded people. You know, people with a disability that are you know outdoorsy. It was nice in the sense that. I didn't have to worry about making sure things were accessible because they had scoped it out already. It's all taken care of. This weekend we had people out here with their partners, spouses, kids even. And so it just makes um, the inclusion aspect of this event really, I think, really significant. Well, I mean, I have two kids and I want to be able to say, hey, let's go, let's go to the park and put a tent or something. This is like, I want my kids to be involved and you see, you know, how people, somebody in a wheelchair beside their dad, and there's like a community of people with disability out there. So they, uh, so the kind of a mongol and a bond, so they can get more understanding in the wheelchairs. So I, I thought I never can be able to do it. But you know, with the help of others and you know, um, have more confidence and encouragement from other people who have the same disability as mine. If they can do it, I can do it. I and mean, when I go camping, I'm like a wild, rare animal at the campsite. Like I am typically the only wheelchair user at the camp, in a campground. And being able to be with other people who face the same challenges, um, it took a weight off of my shoulders personally, knowing that I wasn't alone. Nurtured into the soul, I loved it. Other than like losing a part of my function, I also feel like I've lost a part of my life. And it's hard to share that with, um, with Courtney. I imagine it's gonna be hard for me to share that with kids, you know, with my kids, my children. Learning in an in a environment like this with other people, watching other people with, with their kids camp, it gives me hope and I think it helps us realize that um, while it's different than what I thought it was gonna be, 
it's it's still just as great. Um, there are multiple uh, organizations that came together to make this happen. Um, Adventures Without Limits uh, did all the heavy lifting in regards to logistics. Um, and Oregon State Parks Department uh, gave us great access and made uh, really incredible modifications to the site. It was cool to see a park that had accessible features and that you know was a little different and I could really imagine myself doing it more independently you know if I wanted to come out on my own I was like oh that exists. We had a large group uh, conversation around a campfire about about this with people that uh, have mobility impairments. The feedback that I heard today was very informative and it's going to help to inform policy and decision making. We're already spearheading our you know, mantra of being a welcoming environment and this just goes above and beyond the scope of welcome. This is making sure that the park is accessible for all. I am humbled to think that people were super grateful for the experience when it's something that so many of us take for granted. That it's just so easy to come out and enjoy the outdoors and there's so many people that just don't have that same opportunity because of barriers. If it weren't for certain organizations like AWL and Oregon State Parks and you know Oregon Health and to help me uh, get outdoors, it wouldn't be possible. It's just great that there's people that actually give a or there's actually people that care about trying to make these places work. So like there's people working on it. Um, I hope that this activity, this event, um, can um, bring a cohesion among the stakeholders who are interested in this to, um, to make those health benefits and, uh, and just enjoyment of the outdoors available to everybody. And Oregon is, I mean, it's amazing. Oregon has amazing natural areas and I think uh, it could become like the place to come into to the United States that's completely accessible, has amazing um, infrastructure and programs for inclusive inclusion. It's taking things in Oregon where they should be. It's the next step that we should all be taking is making everything inclusive. <laughs>